Hello everyone. I'm making this video to help others that are probably struggling with the same issue that I did with the Behringer Wing, namely trying to use it in a studio environment as both a audio interface and a control surface. Before we get on to the solutions that I found with a lot of help from others, I need to let everybody know I am a hobbyist. I am not an expert, nor do I claim to be. And most importantly, this board has been shipped and complete by Behringer. The control surface function is not enabled. Let me repeat that. The control surface function is yet to come out in a future firmware update. The board, however, does seem to be prepared for it. As you can see here, there's a door button and there's a show control which I guess these four push buttons can be mapped to certain functionality and this jog wheel and arrow button looks extremely similar to my Mackie MCU that I intended this board to replace. Anyway as far as using it as a audio interface there's a little workaround that was shown to me by the kindness of others that I want to share with everyone so you don't spend three days almost pulling out your hair like I did fighting with this board. The first part is that you want to make sure that your inputs are properly routed. So we're going to presume that is the case for the purpose of this video. If you need me to go through with that with you on how I did it, I'll be happy to do that. Just let me know in the comments. As far as the board goes, I have three stereo devices plugged into it, one condenser mic and one guitar processor, a Line 6 uh, Pod HD 500X through the AES EBU, which is kind of like a SPDIF channel that allows a digital stereo connection. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to show you how I'm able to use this board as a control surface and the wing is connected to my computer by means of a USB cable, which reminds me there is one huge issue that you need to be aware of. The USB cable must be plugged into the back on the dedicated USB port. I had mine plugged into the front USB panel on the case, which in effect is kind of like a hub and the wing did not like it. I couldn't get my cakewalk to boot without turning on cakewalk first and then subsequently powering on my wing. I thought I had a defective board till I moved the USB cable to the back and plugged it in directly to the motherboard and those problems all went away. Anyway, uh, be sure to plug your USB cable from the wing into the back of your computer directly onto a USB connection directly mounted on your motherboard. As far as recording, what you would need to do is on the main panel here, if you go down to setup, there's a source switch. So we're going to be using the main function to record and the alternate for playback. Main to record, alternate to playback. But before we actually do a little bit of recording, let's go back to the home. And right now I have my Roland Integra selected, as you can see there. So on the screen, we want to go to that second icon beneath the home. And this is very important. You need to set up for all the channels that you plan to record on. Now for my main source, I have plugged it into the XLR combo jacks on the back on channels 3 and 4 and Behringer suggests using the odd numbered ports for the left channel and the even number for the right. And for the alternate, I have it programmed to the corresponding USB, USB 3 and 4. And of course, when you're setting those up, you can set those up as stereo pairs. Again, as I stated earlier, if you need 
to have a walkthrough on how to set up an instrument properly so you can use this board as a audio interface let me know in the comments and I'll gladly provide another tutorial on how to do this again this tutorial is aimed at beginners or people not familiar with digital mixing boards such as myself and I hope this is going to save you a lot of headaches anyway let's go across to Cakewalk how are we going to start to record so again for recording we want to make sure that the channel input is set to main and before we actually do record if you do not hear any sound go to this view button and make sure whether you're using headphones or monitors or both you got the appropriate output highlighted if you're using your monitor speakers and you're not hearing anything as you're playing this is probably what this screen looks like. I run into this problem. I thought, you know, my monitor's not plugged into the right socket, but if you got everything routed correctly for your outs, uh, you should be okay. And Behringer does provide excellent videos on how to set up your monitors. Anyway, let's go back to A and B. So I do have output on both my headphones and my monitor. So let's go back to my home and we are recording my integra 7 again we're going to go to setup for recording we want to make sure that the main is selected okay let's go to and i'm sorry for the shaky cam this is using my cell phone i don't have a a camcorder unfortunately i'll try to keep this steady as i can the way once you got your drivers installed is on the inputs notice this is how they're labeled okay I have my Integra what I'm going to record plugged into inputs three and four and those are those main inputs that I like to call them or local I think wing refers to them as and those are the combo jacks that have both the XLR quarter in capability and there's a left for channel three, a right for channel four, even though that's how it's kind of oddly named, but we have a stereo source, so that's what we're going to select. I'm sure you don't need to figure out what the recording is for Cakewalk if you use it. But uh, this is a test I did earlier, so let's go ahead and delete that. Let's go scrub over to the beginning. And we're going to hit record. We're going to record a demo here. Let's stop that recording and we're going to scrub over to the beginning before we actually get some audio here. I know probably the levels are right, so we probably need to normalize it or maybe up the game from the board, but that's another kettle of fish right there. Okay, so we got our audio in. Let's go ahead and hit the space bar for playback. And we're not getting anything. The reason why is, let's go back to our wing. We're not on the alternate source. Remember the mains are configured to your local inputs and the alternate is what we set on here to be the USB. So going back to setup, let's flick it to alternate. Let's go over to Cakewalk and let's play back. And there we have it. Your wing should behave like a nice control surface. Great sounding preamps on the board, I believe provided by the courtesy of Midas. But uh, it's quite an expensive piece of hardware. If that's all it can do. Then you may as well get yourself a, a mark of the unicorn or focus, right? Nevertheless, I hope this video proves to be helpful to a lot of people up there and uh, nobody struggles too much with this because I know how frustrating the process can be. Anyway, uh, have fun, 
stay safe out there and keep self-isolating to stop the spread of this COVID virus. And I hope everybody stays safe and happy. Bye-bye.